Hello again. So we're going to go ahead and get started with our first micro lecture. This one is distance versus displacement, but before we get started on that, let me explain what a micro lecture is or why we're calling it that. Uh, the reason why we're calling it micro lecture is because the goal is to keep them really short. But with that, we're going to piece several of them together. So instead of getting one long lecture, you'll get two or three or four mini one to three minute lectures is the goal. Uh, your products that you need to do are three bullet points worth of notes, one to two sentence summary, and then you need to do the follow-up question in Google Form uh, or on paper if your teacher tells you to do it that way. But focus on the Google Form first and ask about that. Like I said, this one is on distance versus displacement. Before we go and get started, notice that I list the objectives up here at the top. Usually it'll be one objective per a micro lecture, but uh, sometimes we'll do two or three objectives. So this unit, we're talking about motion, but before we can really talk about how fast things are going or how fast something is moving, we need to talk about how far something went. So I've got a little example here for you today. You've got your home sitting over here in the corner, and let's say you go and want to make a trip to get some ice cream on a hot summer day. So you go ahead and you make a walk, and it's 2.5 miles. So you go up a few blocks and over a few blocks, and it's 2.5 miles to get there. Now, we could talk about that as how far you went, but somebody else might say, well, no, wait, what if you just looked at how far it is from like the shortest distance or how far it is from your home to the ice cream store in a direct line path, and that's only one and a half miles. So then the question becomes, how far did you go? Did, even if you walked this far, is that how far you went, or does the one and a half miles, is that what we count for how far you went? And the answer is, it depends on how you define how far. And in physics, we actually define it two different ways, and uh, they mean different things for how we define them. In this case, distance is the two and a half miles. It's the total length you traveled regardless of the direction, and every step counts in this case. So you can change directions, you could walk this way, and then even walk in a circle like this, and then finally go over there. But the, every step counts in this scenario. Displacement is the shortest distance from start to finish. That means that even if you're walking way out of the way this way and then going over here, what we count is just as if you could fly or walk through walls and just the direct line finish, or sorry, the direct distance from start to finish in this case, regardless of what you actually did. Officially, just so you know, distance in a specific direction or change in position in a specific direction is what displacement is defined as. That's it for this one. Remember to do three bullet points worth of notes, one to two sentence summary, and do your follow-up question on the Google form.